Hey guys, welcome back to Sword of Mana. And yeah, we just lost Elena and have a whole bunch of um side quests to hand in. Well, well two I should say. So um talk to these guys. No, I'm fine. Glad my room could be of help. No, it's we who can't thank you enough. It was nothing. That girl, I'm so sorry I wasn't abuse. I regret leaving you, but I decided to go to Devious Manor in Jad. Jad's a famous gathering place for minstrels. I thought I'd see some people and talk some things over. No, we regret regret getting you mixed up in all this. Sorry. I'm sure you'll make it all work out. When do you leave? Right away. That reminds me. Could I ask you to set my birds free? I don't need them anymore. Do you mind? Sure. Just set them free, right? Got it. We can do that. Bye, bub. Bye, bub. I'm here doing you a heckin' bamboozle. Bye, bub. Heck. While we're here, no doubt about it, the glittering sword. I'll buy it off you for a hundred luca. Thanks, I'll take good care of it. A hundred luca, as promised. Yes. Think I'll rest a bit, then head to Granz's. If you think you can hack it, why don't you apply too? Because fuck that guy. I mean, that place. The guy is a good dude. <laughs> but the place sucks. I'm quitting dwarfing. I refuse to be a dwarf any longer. Alright, you fucking suck. Alright, so we need to find another person to palm off a... Welcome. Oh, sweet. We need to find another person to palm off a leaflet to. Hmm, that reminds me. I haven't seen that pee on Dofar all day. What's going on? Oh, that guy. One day he decided he wasn't going to be a dwarf, then he split. He's not going to be a dwarf? Don't give me that. Quit your yapping and get to work. Forget yourself and just work, work, work. Then it won't matter if you're a dwarf or not. What are you fussing at me for? Whatever. We're all in the same boat. Forget yourself and just work, work, work. That guy that was talking last is a real dick. Barbecue Newt. Brings back memories. A man who used to work here loved it. He mumbled something about hating soldiers and quietly left town. After that, he sent us a letter saying he'd found a job in Minos. Well, I guess we're going to Minos. Oh man, why didn't we think of the leaflets? I don't know. Welcome. Um, Should we temper something? I'm going to go with no for now. I'm going to save my stuff. Now... Um, I'm pretty sure two of these quests that we need to do require it to be night, so I'm going to go and make that happen immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dusk and night. Okay, cool. So... First of all, we've got to find the Manor Heretics, and I'm pretty sure they're in the only house that would be marked Residence, and I'm pretty sure they only appear there at night, so let's go find them. Guy who won't work. A Realm Soldier? Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure he was looking for me. Mister, the walls have ears. If this one's with Realm, we're done for. We're not done for. Even in the darkest night, there's light. That's no help. He's not wrong. Well, that's all we gotta do on that. And then we gotta head to the inn, and I'm pretty sure that dude won't be there. Because, well, he's a fucker. Here's the last dude we gotta hand a leaflet to. Whatever it is, I'll take it. Oh, what's that? There in your hand, give me one quick. Mmm, that hits the spot. How refreshing. My thanks to you for your kindness. 
Huh? I ate a leaflet? You must be joking. How could anything that tasty be a leaflet? You're a lifesaver. And you're a freak. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright, that's the nighttime stuff over. So, let's sleep till morning. And get two more quests out of the way. Or three, actually. Yay! This one first. I'm quitting dwarfing. I refuse to be a dwarf any longer. Have you lost your mind? You are a dwarf! Brother Dohel, were you looking for me? Look for you? Why would I? Just show up some- you just show up sometimes, that's all. Go back home. I'm not going home. I'm shaving my beard and quitting dwarfing. Do what you want. Go ahead. Shave and quit being a dwarf. And give that knife back to whoever it belongs to. I will quit. I'll show you what a big man I am. Are you crying, Brother Dohel? Did I make you cry? Yeah, right. Who'd cry over you? That knife you used to cut your filthy beard? You peel apples and fillet fish with it. When I think of poor Amaril... Amarilli... I can't stop crying. You're a disgrace. Do us a favor and quit being a dwarf. But, brother... This knife. Give it back to Amarilli. I'm going back to work. Receive the silver knife. Sweet. Let's go and hand that to uh, this guy. Yay, my knife. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I'd like you to have this. Kitty pie. Sweet. Um, what's wrong? You look different. Did you find something? Yes. Good job. Lead the way. It'll look suspicious if I walk with you. You go ahead. I'm right behind you. Mm-hmm. On Bordeaux. Actually, I'd better double check. Yeah, we used up all our leaflets. Good. Finally got them. I never thought we'd find them here. Done. I knew we'd get sold out to the realm. Calm down, Arnold. Don't despise people. Come on, May. Never hate anyone. I've been looking for you, Uncle. Huh? What? It's me, Umberto. I was undercover as a realm soldier gathering information. Oh right, it's you, Umberto. That nephew I apparently have. This is Umberto. I'm like a mentor to him. Good to see you again after all this time. No time to be laughing. We've got to get you out of here. They'll be right on our heels. You've got that right. We can't trust it, townies. They'll sell us out for the reward. This place is crawling with people like that. Right, Duke. No, I'm not budging. I'm the point man for the resistance. I need to stay here to keep up morale. Yeah, but what if word gets out? We can't be sure. Spies all around, and they might talk. Right, Duke? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> you don't have to say a word. I understand everything. Huh? Umberto, how many adventurers did you send to look for me? This is the only one I talked to. The others all ran off before I could ask. <laughs> they probably did. Not many people would dare talk to you in that getup. Strength, confidence, and an ironclad will. Without them, who'd dare talk to realm soldiers? Someone who wanted to trade for info for cash? Even a child knows people don't keep their promises. A repressed world, a shallow peace. If we want change, we have to face danger. Am I right or not? Hmm... Well, I suppose so. I've got it. I'll return to my unit, and I'll send back whatever info I can. Yeah, do your best, but be careful about it. 
Speaking of info, several dissidents have arisen among the ranks, and persecution has relaxed some. I don't think it's as dangerous for any of us now. You literally just said before that people would be hot on your heels. Alright, whatever. <laughs> dissidents in the ranks. Are they reckless, or are they fools? Probably both. Well, Uncle, take care of yourself now. Hey, what about my reward, dick? I don't know who you are, but I guess you're okay. Sorry I doubted you. I'll give you this. I'm not sure what you'd use it for, but consider it a token of friendship. Yay, Dudbear's gold. See, I told you so. Realm soldiers don't pay what they say. I don't know what they owe you, but you can kiss it goodbye. <laughs> and fuck those guys. <laughs> and yeah, they're not wrong. Um, no, 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 we're going the wrong way. Hmm. Yes, this way. You gave them all out? I love overachievers. Here's your pay, 440 Luca. Stop by and visit again sometime. Receive Dot Bear's gold. Sweet. Awesome. Alright, I guess it's time to go and talk to Sibba. Simba. Ah, you're here. Master Sibber, please tell us how to save Eleanor. Elena. Alright, Sibber, let's hear your plan. Come on, get to it. If we handed Elena over to them that, e that quickly, seems to me we should already had a plan. When it comes to manor women, you never could think clearly. You're troubled about manor, am I right? Well, yeah. Bogard, you won't believe it, but this incident... It involves Vandal. Vandal? You mean the Vandal Emperor who was crushed 20 years ago? When the moon mirror broke, didn't you see the vague reflection of him? Don't tell me. No, you're reading too much into it. If only that were true. I'll investigate further. As for the airship, it will dock at Westlake. You can rescue Elena when it lands there. Are you sure about that? Your magic probably isn't strong enough to reach the airship. Did you use a spirit? I expect that Elena's wisp is wreaking havoc on the airship right about now. For real? So where is this place called Westlake? To get to Westlake, you must go through Gaia Cave. Gaia's, Gaia Cave's a cavern with a mind of its own. It may not let you through that easily. Duke, I'll give you a light spirit. Take it with you. Sweet. Hey, yeah, uh, I'm the light spirit wisp. You're my kind of people. How'd you do? Awesome, now we can heal. Received Wisp, and I guess we're off. Gaia Cave might take some effort to get by. It's a roundabout way, but Bogard, approach it from Grand's Castle. I've got some research to do on Julius. Got it. Okay. To Grand's Castle. Through Gaia Cave and attack the airship. Elena, don't worry. I'm coming for you. May the goddess protect you. You hang in there too. Thus mana flows and fate comes round again. It's Lester and Devious. And Dark Lord. For those who meet. For those who part. Memories revive. All things moving towards the future. Not bad, considering you're human. And I've got a feeling you're not human. Are you marble? I am indeed. I haven't sensed an aura like yours in this world since the three Geminites. The three Geminites? Don't compare me with those old-timers. 
I'm looking for a strong man. I was so excited about coming to this world. Medusa, Lee, all the greatest marbles ended up here. How dull Mavolia became without them. You're a Dark Lord, right? Feel like trying to control me? Control? You? <laughs> Funny way to flirt. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, control me. Become king and make me kneel before you. You're Isabella, huh? Strange creature. If that's what you wish, I'll oblige. Come with me, Isabella. Traitor! Mana power flows, earth moves on, people's destinies, like great rivers, overlap one another. Indeed. Hold on, Elena. I'll rescue you for sure. Well, you'd better fucking hope so, dude. <laughs> Alright, now we can finally leave town. And leave Wendell in the fucking dust. But... Not before going in and out of this fucking place a hundred times. Because every time you finish a side quest, this little cactus guy writes a little note in his diary. And we want him to fill that diary, because if we don't get him to fill the diary, we'll miss stuff. We gotta to talk to him after every story event. Or otherwise, he'll miss a diary entry. And we don't want to do that. Pretty sure that's how we get the max powerful spirits as well. I'm gonna try and get a 100% playthrough if we can. There's no sense in not doing it. I'd rather do that than speed through it. And we've done a fair few side quests. The side quests stack. The story things do not. So, I think we've got to go in and out like three more times? I don't know, we'll see. Then we'll go plant some more seeds. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll get a blacksmith soon. He writes these little kind of shitty poems where he always refers to the main character as the chief. You write your fucking poems. Go on, then. I think that might be all. I guess we'll see. Nope. Still going. <laughs> it's alright. Wendell's a big town, you know. There was a lot of quests to do there. <sighs> the shitty thing about that dude we handed the glittering sword over to is if you don't hand over that sword to him, you miss the rest of his quest, so we really had to do that. Alright, cool. He's done all of his entries. So now we can go harvest some seeds and plant some more. And then go and save it. Let's have a look though. Heroin kidnapped, that's story stuff. Nice. Alright. Hot house orchid. Oh, peach puppy! And what the hell is that? Apple socks. Nice. Choose two seeds. I'll choose a spiny seed and a spiny seed. I'll choose a spiny seed and a crooked seed. And we don't have two or more seeds, so yeah. That's okay. It's time to save it though. <sighs> Poor Elena. Kidnapped for show. It's alright, we'll save her soon. Ah, for some more adventures, that is. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to call out an episode there. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode of Sword of Mana. Thanks for watching.